Hello again. I have here my super cheap 4-inch build, and in it I have the Flit 10 receiver for FlySky. I want to do a range test on it today. Now, I'm not going to push it, I'm not going to try and hit any fail-safes, but we'll see what happens. It's important to note, I don't have the antennas mounted any special way. They're just mounted in a little V off the arms like racers do. And in front of me, I've got 500 meters of open field. So let's see how it does. So, if you look to the top right corner, you'll see the RSSI value being reported by the transmitter. First thing I do is just start off with a nice cruise. And when I get out to about 100 meters, 150 meters, I do a little pirouette just to see what the values are like. You can see they're still holding pretty high at around 70%. I carry on from here to about 250 meters, do another little pirouette, level out a little bit to see what values are doing, and even then they stay pretty strong. So from here I push it out even further, reaching about 400 meters at this point. Again another pirouette, and still holding at 70%, so it's quite impressive. In here I'm at about 500 meters. I do a few slow pirouettes, and you can see this is where it starts to drop off. However, 60% is still a very good signal. So on the way back you can see that the RSSI values start dropping. This is due to the way I have the antennas mounted. Currently the tops of the antennas are what are pointing at me. These form nulls on the monopole antennas that are on the receiver, and they're points where they don't receive signal very well. So to be at around 400 meters receiving 50% signal, I think is still very good. So now back somewhere between 150 to 250 meters, I do some more pirouettes a little higher up, start changing the orientation a little bit more to see how it behaves, get a little bit closer to these treetops where they'll absorb some of its transmitted signal, and you can see RSSI does drop lower than before, but still maintains perfectly high to fly. Drops down to about 30% there. So confident with this, I fly it down the corridor again. Get a little bit lower this time. I'm only about 20 feet off the ground here. And you can see the signal stays nice and strong as I'm angled away from myself. However, when I come here, I spin around, put myself in those nulls, and level out, which essentially orients the antennas in a very poor way for receiving the signal. You can see here that I do actually get a fail safe when it kicks back in from falling and changing orientation. Signal's around 16%. So I boot it back, and with the higher tilt coming back a little bit quicker, you can see the signal picks right back up, back around 80%. What that tells me is the receiver's plenty capable of receiving out to 500 meters. If you're careful about how you orient your antennas, you can easily fly at 500 meters with no worries about RSSI. However, even if you aren't careful about your orientation of your antennas, I think it's still safe to say this receiver will do 250 meters with ease and 300 to 400 meters if you're careful.